so now let's yeah this is the agenda of today like what we're discussing big picture an overview of devops like what is devops and all an overview and there's a question from shahin shah as a performance tester can i learn devops absolutely you can you have to okay if you have to survive in the market because every application is going to implement this approach this is a need of the r like i said the strongest with the skill set will survive in the market in the near future so devops delivery pipeline yes we'll be talking about it devops tools and skills let's talk about them and this is all i have explained see whatever i have explained is there in this presentation which i'll be providing to you as a documentation like a notes for your reference after the class okay as a quick walk through this will help you i have explained you all about this waterfall drawbacks Israel methodology and why DevOps came in. These are the three reasons why DevOps came in, right? So, what is DevOps? Also, we have discussed and comparison with waterfall, Israel, and um, the other methodology you can see, and then roles and responsibilities of a DevOps person and skills. Okay, roles and responsibilities are nothing but you should be working at any stage in the automation process once developer is ready with his code and it was tested from there a devops role comes in you should be taking it to or through automation process and deploy it right so that's what is the role of a devops person and the responsibilities or also like you need to make sure the code reaches the uh, production servers automatically skills and tools of a devops person we'll talk about these skills before that there were few questions i don't have much knowledge on java do we learn java for devops java is nowhere related with devops shahin shah did i say anywhere java it's just an example application is developed in java it might be developed in php it might be developed in dotnet we are not bothered about it irrespective of the language used for development okay a devops person this role is same they work in the automation process of deploying this application to production okay you don't need to know java for it or any programming language for that and sai says i'm storage admin i'm less familiar with coding and scripting will it be easy for me to learn devops definitely sai because see here we don't write code as a developer we write some scripts we have already the templates modifying the templates and working on them is what we do okay that part i'll be training you here completely and vinayak says on which cloud platform you'll be teaching devops vinayak i am teaching here devops irrespective of the cloud platform means the way i teach can be implemented on prem or else on any cloud that will be covered also as an example i'll be showing the implementation on aws platform if you know how to implement it on aws or if you know how to implement it on prem you could implement it on any cloud or any environment so those two i'm covering here any more questions devops methodology have any disadvantages or cons hariram the main disadvantage comes in the uh, resources means a person with this skill set is like i said is having a lot of demand okay the person should be eligible to automate the process so the person with this skill set is having a lot of demand or shortage in the market actually that's going to be a disadvantage and another disadvantage is going to be choosing the tool which tool should be used where that you get through experience and through practice and expertise right and for mba student how devops is useful says gayatri gayatri if you are mba student if you want to make a switch into it career then definitely devops is the right choice because see when you are uh, trying to enter any field try to uh, learn the great demanded one and the most useful one where you have lot of job opportunities so definitely this would be a wise choice and sai is another question is how much cloud is necessary to excel in devops should we pass 223 azure or aws certification in the learning curve sai like i said devops is not dependent on cloud environment devops could be implemented i am repeating please listen carefully devops could be implemented on prem servers on premise also devops could be implemented on cloud also so it's not mandatory that you should know dev uh, aws or you should uh, master cloud and all okay in some companies in some projects devops is implemented a methodology is implemented on prem servers maybe on cloud so it's not mandatory how to select the tools for our project will we be learning the same in the course yes vikas 
once you know the tool in and outs and the pros and cons of each tool you come to know which tool to use and all will begin as a fresher for devops will it be easy to get a quickly as a fresher for devops and what about the salary salary trends you can check on google trend reports sabi or else any job portals will show you the uh, salary trends devops engineers are the highly paid ones in the market right now both in india and abroad okay and coming to fresher definitely there are openings for freshers also for devops any more questions okay meanwhile any questions you can put them you can ask me let me walk you through the um, uh, phases like uh, sorry tools used see version control tool is very important wherein we'll be learning it say there are many tools under this category there are many version control tools like uh, you might have heard about svn yeah you might have heard about uh, uh, svn tfs and so on here we are learning the tool which is very widely used in the market which is having a great demand so what is the what is the benefit from there because it's more widely used you have more job openings also okay so i am going to cover git which is very widely used tool in the category and if you know one tool in the category working with any other tools will be as simple as that okay so yes we are learning git build automation tool maven will be covered continuous integration tool jenkins and then containerization tools like a docker infrastructure as a core tools ansible and terraform will be used see these tools are having a lot of demand in the market the person with the terraform and kubernetes skill set can get the job very quickly because like the demand is very huge there is a shortage for the resources here okay so kubernetes docker swarm will be every tool for that matter will be covered from the basics so you need not worry i don't know these tool or else how to learn this tool no prerequisites nothing i'll be teaching everything from the basics prometheus grafana for monitoring and then aws services will be also covering certain aws services which helps to implement the ci cd pipeline even those will be covered so this is the complete course content of course just a brief content i have just listed the tools here yes you can have uh, uh, videos for lifetime uh, yashwant every day class recording will be provided and the uh, access is unlimited any questions on this page from anyone good with the list of the tools yes priti right what about dynatrace a dynatrace like monitoring tool shahinsha right now in the market prometheus and grafana are leading so i have included them and also whatever tools i am covering i have practical or personal experience using those tools in the projects ji will you cover jfrog and nexus jfrog and nexus will not be covered as shina those are artifact tools those are not a devops specific tools okay yes krishna will be covering the all of this proxy like i said like i'm saying from the beginning it's not just you learn the tool and go away just learn the tool like a subject something something like that and just move on no we we'll learn the tool and implement every tool in the ci cd pipeline we are going to implement ci cd pipeline on two applications which are nothing but two projects implement each and every tool end to end pipeline okay so that you will really understand the pros and cons the in and outs of every tool splunk will not be covered harish see there are hundreds of monitoring tools here the idea of including prometheus and grafana is the first reason is they are having a good market right now they are having a great demand and also nowadays the projects are container centric okay and prometheus is a right choice for such an application you should know prometheus and grafana for sure Okay, so that's how the tools were chosen and the course is designed. 